have to tell you guys, yeah, I have to keep it real. When I first sniffed this fragrance, I was completely, completely floored. Like literally, I don't think I was prepared for what I ended up getting. I didn't know what to expect. I've never smelled it before. All I've seen is what people have stated in the past. So you're really just ready for this to wow me. And I must say, <laughs> I like this fragrance. I, I do, I do like this fragrance. Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Cree. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be highlighting three new fragrances that you guys I'm sure have already heard some things about. And one of those main fragrances will be Yara Candy. Now, this is the new Yara on the market. I'll also be giving my thoughts about the infamous Victoria's Secret Tease Sugar Fleur. And lastly, and briefly, I'll give you guys my thoughts of the new Frise Fute. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly, you guys, so I apologize if I'm not, but we'll also be speaking about this one as well. If that sounds like something that you guys would like to see, then you want to continue to watch. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and hit the like button for your girl if you find that you enjoyed the content while viewing this video. And with no further ado, let's get into it you guys so first up we have this victoria's secret teas sugar flirt and you guys your girl was so excited with this when i heard that they would be re-releasing this fragrance i was so excited you guys this is one that i have been wanting to get my nose and my hands on since i started my fragrance journey literally ever since i heard about this i have wanted it and i feel like i started my fragrance journey right after this was released but it was gone by the time that i started looking for it so i couldn't be more happy that they finally re-released it if you're like me and you never were able to get your hands on it then you already know this was marked up crazy high on different websites like mercari and ebay for the last year or so so i am just so happy that victoria's secret decided to re-release it because i don't know if that's something that they do often so i am just so happy that they listened to us and brought it back out and i was finally able to get my hands on it so i can't wait to give you guys my thoughts i know the girls have been waiting here i am you guys i'm giving you the good so definitely hit the like button for your girl because i'm gonna give you all the specs all the tea so first things first let me get you guys the notes I have here i got some notes here okay i took notes for you guys so tea sugar flour has fresh apple floral buds and pink caramel that's what they have listed on victoria's secrets website now i'm also going to go back and show you guys what fragrantica had and i'll be sure to put that up there fragrantica lists apple bubble gum caramel jasmine crystal amber and sandalwood i wanted to give you guys both of them so you have variation i'm not sure if this is the same formulation as the original i've heard people say that they felt like it was the same but of course i can't confirm or deny that because i did not pick this up last time so just so you guys know this is like my first impression as well as like you know my current thoughts as i've been wearing it um if you guys can't tell you know look at this bottle i do have the 3.4 ounce and i have a dent you know it's a nice little dent for somebody who just picked up this bottle so i just want to let you guys know you know i have been using it but this is still technically like a first impression i don't know what it's like after a year or six months or anything like that so just keep that in mind of course things could change it can get deeper and all of those things but i just want to give you you know preface this video on saying that i don't know how it ages but this is just going to be my thoughts on what i'm getting currently Okay. I'm um, keeping in mind the notes that I'm seeing. I'm going to let you guys know, you know, what I get. Now I do have this on today. I've been wearing it on my left side all day and I've actually been wearing Yara Candy here on the other side. So we'll get to that as well. But I'm just going to give it a fresh spray right here for you guys on my arm. I'm going to give it a nice spray. You know how I do. <sighs> I have to tell you guys, you know, I got to keep it G with y'all. I have to keep it real. When I first sniffed this fragrance, I was completely, completely floored. I don't think I was prepared for what I ended up getting. I didn't know what to expect. I've never smelled it before. All I've seen is what people have stated in the past into this completely blindly. I went into this completely blindly, just really just ready for this to wow me. And I must say, <laughs> I like this fragrance. I, I do I do like this fragrance however I don't know if it deserved 
all of the hype that it got that's just me being honest y'all that's my personal opinion i know somebody is gonna disagree with me i know many of you may disagree with me what i mean by this is this first of all let me just let me let you know what i get okay um when i first spray this out and even currently as it's like drying down on my skin the freshest most crisp green apple and i mean literally that green granny smith apple we all know and love it my son eats one literally every day so when i tell you i know it i know it well literally it is the most literal fresh green apple and then i automatically get the florals the florals are prominent in this fragrance i really want you guys to understand that because for someone who if you guys didn't know i'm lying about this i didn't state that so if you're like me and you really want to get your hands on this because i'm sure there are some people who, who were like you know i'm not going to get it right now i'll wait till it goes on sale or debating between should i go ahead and splurge and get it right now or should i wait for a sale to possibly snag it or will it be too late i just want to paint a picture for you guys because i know how that can be the struggle between the fear of missing out and could i have just waited or should I wait until another time? Will there be another time? I understand that struggle. So I really went ahead and bit the bullet, not just for you guys, but for myself. Cause of course I really wanted to know, but I really wanna convey this clearly. So when you first sniff this, you get that green apple followed by the background of florals. And when I tell you the florals do hang around, you need to like a fruity floral fragrance to like this scent. Now I'm a fruity floral type of girl okay i love me a good freshie i love me a good fruity floral this is right up my alley so i'm happy with it i'm glad that i got it i even got a backup you guys okay hold on i even got a backup of it okay both in the same size i got two big bottles i was not going to miss out ever again okay i wanted to get it and, and make sure that i can enjoy it just in case it never comes back now if i turned out that i didn't like it i could always return it but i'm not i'm going to actually keep it and so that lets you know i do enjoy this fragrance i just want to keep it completely honest with my viewers and for those of you who you know are just an average consumer and you don't you don't review fragrances do you need to run out and get this right now i don't think so i definitely think you should go and sniff it don't blind buy it because if you're just going off of what other people are saying you could be led astray because the hype on youtube for things just gets so crazy so i really just want to give you guys good perspective and really paint a picture so let me get back i'm sorry i got sidetracked so followed by those florals per the note structure it's supposed to be the pink caramel um, i don't know how pink caramel differs from original regular old caramel but that's what they have listed now based off of what it says on fragrantica it says that they have bubblegum caramel and jasmine thought i picked up like some gardenia i don't see that listed on here but if i'm not mistaken the original tease has gardenia in it and so i think that's what i'm getting like that original dna of tease which i do enjoy so i'm not mad at it by any means but i pick up the floral in the apple more prominently than anything else in this fragrance so i just want you guys to keep that in mind because a lot of you will go after the caramel the name makes you think it's a sugary sweet fragrance but honestly you guys to me that's just not what this is it's a little misleading kind of gives like Kay Ali. like you know how Kay Ali will fill you up with notes <laughs> and you you go into it thinking one thing and you completely get something different i just want to put you guys in the mind and know that that's not really what this is giving they have jasmine they have crystal amber and sandalwood so for me in the base this does get sweeter it doesn't just stay that super sour apple but it is very much a sour green apple in the opening you guys i really want you to know that and you're definitely going to pick up some florals and it's not just jasmine as a matter of fact i don't even pick up the jasmine as much as i swear to you i get the gardenia the base is beautiful it's creamy it's soft this is a very feminine scent very easy going easy grab everyday wearing type of scent i could see this being someone's signature scent it is beautiful it's not sugary sweet to me it's not i can pick up the sweetness and we're gonna say that's coming from the caramel but it's very very far in the background dare i even say that's far in the dry down so you'll get that throughout the wear of the fragrance it's not in the forefront it is not 
um the focal point we i just don't think so i know some people may disagree and you guys feel free to drop your thoughts and comments down below you know i'm open for discussion and i plus i want my viewers to be able to see the opposing views and what they're getting and picking up y'all let me know what y'all feel about it down below but i'm happy with the purchase i just don't want other people to be misled or to feel like oh i need to hurry up and go out and get it i don't know if this is going to be for everybody i really don't you're going to really need to like apple okay and you're really going to need to like florals so if you love a good fruity floral and you love apple sis this is this is for you but if you're looking for something that's super sugary sweet i don't think this is that i don't even think this is sweeter than the original teas that's what i got i know that's gonna be a little hard to swallow for some of you guys but those are just my thoughts you know so i'm giving it to you raw and real how i see it am i mad at the purchase do i regret it no i'm absolutely keeping it i'm super happy i have it and i'm glad i got it back up i got this one so that i could go ahead and use it freely and not worry about oh my god what if it leaves so i am happy that i got two does the average person need two probably not but if you're one who had this before and you smelled it and you know it's the same you love it yeah i think you should because there's no telling how long it'll stay and there's no telling if you'll be able to get that chance again so i did it i used the coupon though you guys so i got a very nice discount i'm a card holder with victoria's secret so there's that i haven't been purchasing them, them for a while so i don't feel bad about it but had it not been for the fact that i have a channel and this is limited edition and i've been wanting to get it in my hands for so long also my no buy has ended my low buy has ended um even though i'm kind of just going to consistently stick to that if it wasn't for that i would not have picked this up full price um i wait for a sale for everything but again i had a coupon um so i was able to get like two for the price of one for real if it wasn't for that and the fact that i just really knew this was gonna be up my alley like it's it's my speed and it is so i'm happy with it but i don't think you guys need to run out and get this unless you know that you know that you know that you know that this is you okay hopefully that was helpful to somebody i gave the best i could I do have a few layering combos you guys know i love my country apple perfume oil from wholesale body oils it's my go-to i have it right here you guys i automatically was gonna pair these together because it's perfect <laughs> if you guys don't have this and you have country apple from bath and body works you could try that out um i will state that um i did go and shop the sale from bath and body works that they had a couple of i guess it was about a week ago now i did go and smell a few things i will say as soon as i laid my nose on the new i think it's like candy apple cauldron that green juice um i'll put a picture up here for you guys baby when i tell you that smelled just like this as far as the apple not the entire scent you guys but the apple in there literally to me to my nose smells identical to the apple in here so if you find that you really really like that scent i think you'll probably like this as long as you're okay with adding florals and some sweetness then this pretty much puts you in the same ballpark that was my thoughts i skipped on that i didn't purchase that you guys because i have this and i just don't need any more apple i got all the apple that i need but i did want to touch on that i'll be sure you guys to leave some layering combos of course of course of course in the video for you guys because i know you guys love my combo in there i didn't pull all of that out and bring it over here but i'll be i'll be sure to leave you guys pictures also i wanted to mention another comparison this whole time that i have been wanting this it has been compared so heavily to k ali's eating juicy apple and since i do have that you know we can go ahead and do a head-to-head -head comparison i have that right here this is k ali's eating juicy apple and this is t's sugar flour i mean let's see i already have this spray here on my wrist i hit it with one more quick dose okay i'm gonna put this one also here but i'm gonna put it on the inside so i spray it like this did about three sprays so immediately and i've tried this prior to this video you guys but i'm just wanting to refresh myself i've been wearing this down this summer so yeah I, i'm acquainted with the fragrance 
what I will say is I can see the comparison. I can see how someone would draw that comparison. The note structure is a little similar. The difference is this one has berries. It has a lot of other things actually, but you know how Kayali does. We talked about that with the notes. Ultimately, it's the apple that draws that comparison. This is also sugary sweet, whereas this has like the caramel and the name, sugar flirt. Of course, people are gonna draw that conclusion. Do they smell alike? A little. It's not spot on to me. I think they would do good pairing together and I absolutely would recommend if you have the two to pair them together. But for me, this is a little bit a lot of it stronger with that green apple this doesn't have a green apple this has a red apple even though it can kind of lean a little sour and then it has that sugar so it really does sweeten up over time this on the other hand it sweetens but i'm telling y'all the florals in this really jump out at you as well as that green apple and it does stick around durable it dies down but it's still there these are different they're not the same to me i don't think you should get one and think you got the other I don't think they're redundant in your collection. They're different enough to me to have both. Like I said, to me, this is just, this really surprised me with how intense the floral comes through on my skin. So, but yeah, I wanted to just let you guys know my quick thoughts on the comparison between the two. I think they, I think they do compare, but they're not the same. And the quick little combo that I had with this is one that I also have used prior, something similar with Juicy Apple. Um, I just used Tea Sugar Flur along with my Wholesale Body Oils Country Apple. Layer this down, I spray this on top, and then I follow that by Armani My Way. Since this is supposed to, or I don't know if Fragrantica is right or not, but it said it had a bubblegum note. So I don't detect any bubblegum. I don't know if I said that y'all, but I don't detect bubblegum in here. I don't know if that's really in the notes or not, but I don't see that on Victoria's Secret site. So I'm not sure if that's really supposed to be there or if it was, but I don't get any of the bubblegum at all. So, but y'all know this got that bubblegummy tuberose in here so i went ahead and just hit it with a little bit of that and this now if you're not a floral lover you don't like florals you want to back away from this combo okay step away from the combo this one is not going to be for you sis but if you don't mind a good fruity a fresh floral then you will like this and this gets nice and sweet and almost caramely like i like it in the dry down so this to me would be the perfect pairing for the scent in my mind i thought this was armani my way and this is tea sugar flur wholesale body oils country apple pair those three together right now girl we are moving on all right boo so now what you came for i already know why a lot of y'all came okay i already know you came to see her i already know she's the big dog over here so i saved the best for last you guys this fragrance right here this one listen when i tell you i was ready i wasn't i didn't pre-order this okay this just released i didn't pre-order it i saw it it popped up on amazon the day it dropped i guess sometime last week or so and your girl snagged it i just grabbed it then it came to me right on time and i was like you know i'm gonna go ahead and get this out i've been trying to get out my perfume collection videos because when i'm in a certain mode y'all and i got things recorded i have to get that out first a lot of y'all don't know it but our numbers have to hit a certain thing for us to even get paid now it's not all about money but let's not act like we don't like getting paid so sometimes we hold off on the content because we need our other things to be watched and viewed before we drop anything else so if you want me to help you you know what i'm saying help me side note while i'm mentioning this i just wanted to say this quick bit a lot of time effort and money is put into these videos you guys you never know what your content creators are going through or doing behind the scenes we all have separate lives that we live and we are constantly bringing you guys content so all that we ask most of us is that you watch like and subscribe to the channel it costs nothing to subscribe to a channel it costs nothing to hit the like button it is the slightest thing that you can do to help your creator so if you really support and care about your creators then y'all watch their content hit the like button and subscribe it's simple all right back to the video you make sure you're viewing the content make sure that you are hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel if you want me to keep dropping these gems okay my pace depends on you okay how we gonna act today 
let's talk about it okay so we got yara candy here y'all real quick let me start with the notes i'm so excited about this one because i know the girls are going nuts all right and they want to hear my thoughts and i want to give them to you so let's get into it <laughs> so right here we have the notes for for yara candy this is classified as an amber fruity vanilla fragrance this has the top notes of green mandarin and black currant mid notes of strawberry fizz candy and gardenia base notes of sandalwood vanilla syrup musk and amber let's talk about it okay let's talk about it we're gonna spray it right here you guys i actually already have this on but we're gonna spray it on top you know how i do and we're gonna be real liberal with it because why not we here for a good time not a long time when i tell you latapa did something with this <laughs> listen 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 y'all know i'm not one to hype a product i'm really not if i love it you gonna know i love it if it's meh i'm gonna show you that it's meh like my personality is gonna show through on screen so if i love something you're gonna know that i love it if it's mid you're gonna see that it's mid if i'm like I could I could I could give or take it it's gonna come through okay that's why I had to get on camera for you guys because I started to just push it out and not record a full face video but I said nah let me go and get myself together just for y'all I took my hair out got to do something different I did this just for y'all because I need y'all to look me in my eye when I say this yeah first of all if the notes sound appetizing to you if all that sounds good you're gonna want to pick this up okay because unlike some others this shall not be named Kelly. <laughs> these notes they shine through in here i can detect it, what it says that it has in there let's start off at the top so they have green mandarin black currant smell this fragrance i literally get something sweet strawberry is very detectable in here you immediately get strawberry and a fizziness that i have no idea how they translated fizz into a scent note i have no idea but it is there you can literally smell the fizziness it's sweet not too sweet but sweet it's also tangy I get this tang which I'm going to attribute to the green mandarin note in that black currant definitely giving some type of sugary candy you know just like the promo picture kind of alludes to you definitely get that vibe of like if you guys have ever had like those sweet orange slices do you guys know about those sweet orange slices they're like jelly like not really jelly like i don't know when you bite into them they're kind of like gummy like a little bit but they're soft and chewy I used to get them before church or something like that. You can get them at the candy store. Coated with sugar on the outside. Kind of just like the promo, y'all. I put a picture up here. It's like that, but a strawberry. And I even get a little hint of something that kind of is reminiscent of watermelon. Not so much an authentic watermelon, like that super watery, aquatic type of fresh scent. Not like that. It's more of a candy watermelon. It's not a lot of it. I just get a smidge of something that kind of reminds me of that. And hell, maybe that's because that's the way that I like to pair it. Naturally, I'm just thinking strawberry and watermelon. So I don't know. I think it's just something about it that is giving me that somewhere in there. But it's not It's not listed. It doesn't say that it has watermelon. But I do detect a little smidge of something that kind of gives me that vibe. But you definitely do detect the strawberry. It's definitely a fizzy candy type of strawberry and it's so pretty literally the name is so fitting i mean the bottle is fitting the color i love that by the way the color is stunning y'all like the eyeshadow so what else do they say they have in here sandalwood vanilla syrup musk and amber i definitely detect in the dry down it gets musky in that amber so in the dry down it's something about it that can get a little creamy very interesting type of fragrance it's very beautiful you guys it was really a love at first sniff honestly it's not anything like the original yard to me it's not like anything else that i have actually now i think about it it does kind of put me in the mind of 
the type of fragrance that what is that called you know that watermelon fragrance that they came out with from Paris Corner that everybody loves Taskeen um not Taskeen um watermelon batik you know how everybody loved that fragrance that's what this puts me in the mind of not smell wise but it's just that type of fragrance kind of tangy fruity got some sweetness also got that a little bit of sour but sugary sweet it's giving me that vibe that same type of vibe i really like this i don't think it's a dupe for anything i don't have anything else that smells just like i don't think it's duping anything it's its own thing i do think that this definitely gives me more strawberry than the original Yara ever did. That said, I know people like to compare the different Yaras. Yeah, I only have the two in my collection. I did have the orange one. I don't have it anymore. I don't care for it. It's too heavy in the white floral. Kind of gives me vibes of like Fame by Paco Rabanne. It just wasn't for me. I have a roll-on oil that smells just like it and I don't wear it. <laughs> so it's nothing like that. This does pair really good with the original if you like to pair those two but they are very different i believe this is sweeter than the original i don't think this is as creamy as the original this is more of a sugary fruity tangier scent whereas that is more of like a sweeter could be even a little lactonic um tropical fruit and vanilla type of fragrance whereas this is like syrupy sugary sweet like candy just like the name i really love this fragrance you guys and i think most people will like it but you need to like it fruity and you're going to want to go ahead and get it because i mean it's summertime and summer is almost over y'all it's almost over the kids are going back to school so yeah i would grab it that's if you want to wear it right now. If you feel like you can wait and it's you're not about to pay $50 for it, and I completely understand. I get it. I know a lot of people are upset because it seems a little high. I mean, I do think it's it's worth it. I for $50, I would have got it for $25. It doesn't matter. But y'all know how it does. I think they're just dragging up the price because of the demand for it. Right now, you know, it'll go down and it'll be at like $30, $25 before you know it. Sometime next year. So And it fluctuates. They do it all the time. They do it with all the Middle Eastern fragrances. So don't get... Don't get your panties in a bunch, y'all. <laughs> get stressed out about it. You know, they, they do that all the time. Every time it gets more popular, it gets a lot of hype. The wave comes. They raise the price. They'll lower it. They do what they want to do. You know, you can choose to or not to buy it. Do I think you need to get it right away? No, you don't have to. And, and unless you want to wear it right now. You know, um, if you can wait, wait. Shop out of season. I always tell you guys that. But I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts. Now, right away. When I got this, you know, in my head, it's combos immediately. This screams combos, okay? Because this is a beautiful, easy, fruity, candy, sweet fragrance. So, of course, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got a million and one combos. First one that came to mind was this. This here. Cara Pistachio, which is very sweet. And this one here. So, I'm like, this to me, even though it is sweet, this is like a tangy sweet this is more sugary sweet kind of bubble gummy a little bit i was like you know what i think i'm gonna pair these two together and i did i think those make a really nice combo even though i think this kind of could uh this is this is a lot if you like this fragrance then pair it together and i think they'll be good but if this isn't up your alley then maybe not but i did try this out this is the first one i thought about secondly the next were bath and body works immediately first fragrance that i thought about from bath and body works was groovy watermelon this is a perfect combo i told y'all i already get a little bit of a vibe of watermelon if you guys have that batik watermelon that will probably be perfect paired with this but i got groovy watermelon paired them together perfect combo the strawberry the watermelon this has a uh, juicy pink watermelon sugar strawberry blossoms and lime zest perfect combo you guys perfect smells delectable okay you smell good sis try those two together next up for the girls who want to smell like what most people thought the original yara smelled like i'd say pair these put your strawberry pound cake and i don't even have the notes on mine no more y'all because it's blurred out but i know it say something like whipped cream shortcake fresh strawberries something like that <laughs> this paired with this match made in heaven but if you really want to set it off or if you don't have this let me tell you what you can pair it with baby this right here 
so this fragrance here is one that i just picked up i had not shown it to you guys yet i was coming i was coming i had it coming on the way y'all this is the france Fute le mans gourmand this i think went viral as well i'm just getting around to telling you guys about it but this in my opinion simply put is like a milky bubble gum type of fragrance it's definitely giving like strawberry bubble gum with some kind of creaminess in the background i don't like this by itself i'm gonna just keep it all the way 100 with y'all is this is not my cup of tea i'm not a strawberry girl i tell y'all that all the time which is why i'm so excited about yara candy because i'm not usually a strawberry girl y'all i don't really gravitate towards strawberry scents but this paired with yara candy this this is what the girl's looking for. I'm telling you, if you wanted that strawberry milkshake and you didn't get it out the original Yara, this, with this, I promise you, you'll thank me later with this one, okay? Listen, I'm about to put it on now because y'all think it's a game. I can tell by the look on your face. You think it's a game y'all this it i have not even really worn this all i've done is tried it with this i tried it the first time when i first got it and i was like mm, it ain't for me and i have paired it with this something just clicked in my head like try these two together and sis match made in heaven so for those of you who have already made the decision that you are definitely going to snag up yara or if you got it already i'm gonna do you one better sis because times is hard out here i'm gonna give you a little push <laughs> I'm going to help you out a little bit. Since you already done bit the bullet and got your candy and you decided she is that girl and you love her. I'm going to help you out and I'm going to give this to one of my lucky subscribers. Sis, you don't have to do nothing. I'm just deciding that this will be one of the giveaway prizes for the upcoming giveaway that I have. Because your girl have reached 2K and I'm so excited about it and I just want to thank y'all. So I have decided that I'm going to do multiple giveaways. I think I probably just end up doing maybe two or three i'm not sure maybe two maybe three i don't know but i am going to give this away so one of my lucky subscribers will absolutely get this so if you get it and you have this you guys i hope you pair it together this will be one of the giveaways you guys i'm going to give this one away right here if y'all have this and you have this pair them together beautiful combo hit the like button another combo i think would be very fitting would be this gingham gorgeous right here it says the notes of pink strawberries peach nectar and peony blooms i think that will go really well also with yara candy and i got two more combos for you guys so the next one up is this perfume that i got from tj maxx over the summer and this is the good sense no bad days you guys this is like a melon type of fragrance so it has honeydew melon wild daisy cucumber dew water lily peach candy sugar crystals and sheer musk i think this will go perfect with yara candy you guys so if you have those two i picked this up from marshall's y'all for 14.99 if you have them pair those two together yara candy with C. britney spears fantasy you guys if you know what you know this has that um kiwi note in there it's a beautiful white chocolate cupcakey scent i love that part of it but the kiwi used to bother me but since we got the strawberry fizz over here okay and we love a good strawberry and kiwi right sis pair them together pair them together y'all let me know how you feel when i tell you yara candy couldn't come quick enough right on time i literally got this just to pair with something and yeah yeah that works so y'all give that a try and lastly the last combo that i have is this probably my favorite combo i actually mixed this today so i don't know where the top at but baby if y'all got this and you got this this is coconut pineapple from bath and body works y'all this is literally one of my favorite body mists for the summertime i love it love and adore this fragrance and when i tell you baby this can go with anything y'all however you like to pair strawberry i mean there are no rules to this only you gotta wear it <laughs> you know what i'm saying so if you like it i love it i'm just trying to give you options these are a few that i paired together but y'all use your imagination what does strawberry go with to you then do that i got a combo on my mind that i still haven't really worked out but i wanted to do something with strawberry banana and mango i used to have a 
smoothie in college that I got all the time. It was called Maui Mango and it had strawberry, banana, and mango. And I'm telling you, I want to get that combo with a fragrance. So I'm working on it in my head. I ain't got it together yet, but when I do, I'll be sure to share it with y'all. When it comes to Yara candy, it's an absolute yes for me. I do recommend it. Do you need to run out and buy it right now? No. But do I think you should get it eventually? Yeah. I think you'll like that. I think you will if the notes and everything that I have explained and shared with you guys sounds up your alley, then absolutely yes. Maybe wait till it goes down a little bit. You ain't got to rush out and get it right now while the hype train is on. But you know what I'm saying? Once that dies down a little bit, yeah, she's definitely worth adding to your collection, especially if you love the Yara. Completely different from the original Yara, so I would not really use that as your comparison. But if you like a strawberry fragrance, even if you don't typically like strawberry fragrances, I'm telling you, if you think you would like a strawberry candy, this is nothing like any other strawberry that I have. Because the other ones are more creamy based. This isn't that to me. Not to me. It's more tangy, but still sweet at the same time and fizzy. It's the fizzy note for me. They really did something nice with that. Almost like a strawberry soda of some sort. No, it doesn't smell like strawberry soda to me from Bath & Body Works. <laughs> okay? I was just using that as a reference. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to get it out to you as soon as I could. So please hit the like button for your girl. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, take care of yourself. And I will see you later. Bye. I just wanna see